In the old days, folks used to live off the fruit of the land where they were born and raised. They had gardens and orchards and ate things in their season. Only seasonal things? Right. So they would only have watermelon or tomatoes for a few weeks out of the year. That's all? I'll tell you, a freshly picked watermelon is worth the wait. It's amazing. Hmm. I'd love to try one. So would the crows. <laughs> they keep their beady little eyes on the gardens, and they know when things are most ripe. So it's a battle of wits between the humans and the birds as to who's going to get to it first. <laughs> but how do birds know the watermelons are ripe? How can they tell? Who knows? Maybe they wait for a change in color, or maybe they can smell it. Whatever the case, the birds and the watermelons live on the same land at the same time. They're connected. So maybe they just instinctively know. They live in harmony. They live in the here and now. And the here and now includes all of the past and all of the future. How can it? A great deal of time and energy goes into growing even the smallest grain of rice. The rice is protected by a kernel produced by the rice stalk. The rice stalk was nurtured by the insects, the soil, the grasses, the rain, and literally everything under the sun. They all give it energy so it can live. I wonder how much time and energy it took the universe to create me. Come over here a minute. Ever seen a rice paddy before? Huh? <laughs> Take a look at these green stalks. Way down at the bottom are kernels with the rice grain slowly forming inside of them, one by one. Oh, so the rice starts out as just a small little speck within the leaves and then grows? Everything on Earth comes to life by starting out as a small little speck, so small you can't even see it. It's the same with human beings. The process of your birth was started way before the doctor pulled out your red and squirmy body and you cried your first cry. It started before you were in the womb, before you were even a twinkle in your daddy's eye. Before I was born. Latest report. After comparing and studying the data gathered from various Earth monitoring stations, as well as SEED's analysis, it has become clear that there is a definite organic connection in the abnormalities of the Earth's magnetic field, unusual mantle convection, and the Van Allen Belt microseismic phenomenon. You're not suggesting it's a pole shift. You think the Earth poles are moving? All the data we've gathered unequivocally seems to point in that direction. But if a pole shift is actually happening, not only will it mean the extinction of human species, but practically all life forms on Earth, the data must be off. So, can you tell us exactly when we can expect it to happen, Chris? The complete awakening of the TI-2? TI-2, Juna Ario Shi is undergoing a period of uncertainty with respect to her TI abilities. In other words, she's experiencing some intense labor pains. Be assured that I will continue to lead her through her awakening, even if it takes my last breath to do it. June has gone ahead and decided what food should be eaten and what food shouldn't be eaten. I mean, it's discrimination, man. She didn't take into consideration the feelings of the food. What's wrong? Huh? Mm. What's this? Uh, Trying to prove something by eating normal food again? Don't strain yourself and have another attack of conscience. I'll pass on the sandwich, Mom, but I'll take the grapefruit juice. Thanks. Juna starts eating again, and now you stop. I can't win. 
Sorry, but spare me the grief. I feel kind of sick. Like, my head's gonna explode. Serves you right for staying out all night. You could have called if you were coming home. <gasps> What's wrong with you? Wanting to stay home and booze it up with you? <laughs> Don't, Kaine. <laughs> You guys both need a good colon cleanse. You're so anal, it's unreal. Stop that. It hurts. <sighs> Poor baby. You should be thankful I switched to Miracle Lights. No, I wasn't talking about me. I just heard the voice of a small boy say, Stop that. It hurts. Ugh, give it a rest. You're creeping me out. <gasps> a voice is calling inside of you. It says that it hurts. <gasps> I hope it turned out okay. The way to a guy's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta go. See ya. Bye. Huh? <gasps> huh? <gasps> Juna! <gasps> Girl lamenting her woes in the middle of the afternoon. How quaint. Uh -huh. What are you wanting about this time, I wonder? What do you want? Did something happen again? No wonder your boyfriend dumped you. You're such a drama queen. <laughs> I'm going home. You're running away. What is it today? Raja? Or, or is Chris in trouble again? <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing big. I'm just here on my own time today. Here on your own? <gasps> What's in the bag? You saved Chris when I brought you to the basement of Seed. Here's a token of my appreciation. I thought it was the least I could do. such a stubborn, neurotic prima donna. You're gonna need a handkerchief to wipe away the tears of your unrequited love. Huh. What do you know? It's not like things between Tokyo and I are over. Tell me, have you ever even kissed the poor sucker? <gasps> of course I have. What do you think? Did you French kiss? <gasps> oh. Have you two gone further than kissing? <gasps> None of your business. <laughs> uh-huh. Just as I thought. I knew it. Hey, you're not allowed to read my mind like that, brat. Besides, I'm not gonna let a little kid like you know my real thoughts. Fine, whatever. But you wanna know what I would do if I were in your situation? Huh. Give me a break. What would you know at your age? <laughs> Apparently a lot more than you do. You know what, Juno? You're lucky not knowing so much. Huh? Your life is full of surprise, not mine. I sense everything that's gonna happen to me before it actually does. It's a ripoff. It's like wanting to read someone's heart like a mystery novel, but some stupid voice in my head blurts out who the culprit is before I get through the first chapter. 
So there's no mystery. That lame bimbo, she totally knew I was already in her womb. But she'd go out with any old loser who asked. A different guy every night. Huh? Why would she be such a sleaze? It's not like she even liked any of them. She'll be getting hot with some guy. But in her head, she was thinking about what to wear the next day or how to pay back her loan. She didn't even know which one of the jerks was my father. Why did she do that? Why did she? Why does she feel so much? Why does she feel so good? You remember feeling that way as a baby? There you have it, the misadventures of Cindy the fetus, floating around in the belly of a toolhead. No wonder I grew up to be a freakazoid. No way. <laughs> Amazing what babies know about life before they even slide down the hatch. If you think I'm making it up, use the ears of your spirit and tune in. Try to imagine what that baby's saying. You should be able to hear it, you know. The baby's spirit makes a sound. The baby's spirit. Stay. <sighs> Doctor, we've put Mrs. Takeuchi in room 307. Given the dilation of her cervix, I would say her baby is due to arrive early Saturday morning. Oh. I see. In the interest of the health and safety of the mother, I think it would be best to induce labor. I understand. Would you like me to administer the needle to her now? Yes, thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be right there. Congratulations, she's a beautiful little girl. <laughs> she's six pounds, six ounces. Now let's clean her up a bit. Did you know that babies don't actually cry much when they're born? Huh? Are you sure? Yep. When babies are born naturally without drugs and all that crap, they let out one gasp to clear their windpipe. But other than that, they don't really need to cry. 
As long as they're feeling nice and secure. But that baby back there was crying a lot. What do you expect? They pulled her out of her mom's dark and warm womb with a suction cup on her head, dragged her into cold, bright lights, and whisked her away with some stranger for an examination. Why do they do that? It's just the way it is. Nowadays, people believe that having the baby cry nice and loud like that is proof that she's healthy and strong. I guess a lot of babies wouldn't survive if hospitals didn't exist. That's the trade-off, I suppose. Huh? Modern society simply isn't capable of hearing the baby's voice and understanding its feelings. But I've heard the voice of a baby before. She is. So what are you gonna do? The baby is calling for help inside that stupid sister of yours. You can hear it too, can't you? Pregnant. I know that you're going to have a baby. If you're gonna keep him, then you've got to love him. You're his mom. He needs you. What are you talking about? <sighs> Good one, Juna. That was handled with tact. I don't need to have a kid like you lecture me about my life. You got that? <sighs> but... I don't know who told you all this, but you can't expect me to be happy about having a baby with a guy I can't even stand anymore. You don't even like the guy? Just leave me alone. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Hirotsuku or Kanayume no? They're playing in town this weekend. Might be fun. Hmm. So you heard it? When we were at the hospital, you heard the feelings of the baby before she was born, didn't you? Before she was born? Of course, a fetus doesn't use words to explain how she feels. We just happen to be able to translate the baby's feelings into words. That's how the whole ESP thing works. So you heard something like this, right? Not yet. That's what she said. Why do you think she wanted to stay longer? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Want to know something really cool? Babies have the ability to decide on their own. They can decide when they want to be born into this world, you see? Really? Babies have that kind of power? A baby can feel everything as she floats in the little ocean of the womb. She can tell whether it's her mother's voice speaking or someone else's. She can hear her heartbeat. She can hear music. She can tell what her mother's eating or what she's drinking, whether she's laughing or whether she's crying. A baby can also feel the tides and the phases of the moon. And when she decides she wants to be born, she sends a message with her heart and her hormones. Yeah, but if the baby can feel all of that, then why can't the mother? Why can't the mother understand what the baby's feeling inside? Chris says everyone can feel it. But some mothers are so overwhelmed with advice and books, doctors and everything else, that their baby's voice gets drowned out. Really? Juna, did you know that Chris's mother and father were both archaeologists? They were? 
Yeah, and while they were going around the world exploring uncharted regions and ancient ruins, they dug up burial sites in old villages and decoded ancient scripts and that sort of thing. During their research, they realized that the ancient people were far more aware of things than we are. Our ancient ancestors felt the spirits of plants and animals, water, winds, and even the rocks. And they felt the baby's voice in the womb. It was then that Chris's mother, while she was living on a small island in the South Pacific, heard Chris's words before he was born from within her womb. Baby Chris's words? What did he say? To the sea. To the sea? birthday. <sighs> when people are born into this world. That's why Chris is so gentle. He understands what true love is. So, fess up. Do you really like that guy, Tokyo? Well, probably I do. Hmm. Then why haven't you even kissed the poor guy? Uh, well, I... <laughs> you crack me up with your virginal princess act you got going. Just stop worrying about your size, Juna. Well, I, I can't help it, so Kyo seems to like girls who have... Hmm. He's tried to kiss me, and I'd like to kiss him and stuff, but one thing can lead to another, and if I get pregnant while I'm still so young, then I'll have to... I... Uh... Uh, uh, well, we were at the point where our friendship was turning into something else. I know our relationship would have gone somewhere, but then I ran into Raja, and you and Chris, now it's over. Tokyo's no longer interested in me. Unbelievable. Are you ever dense? Why do you say that? Why don't you just go and find out for yourself? Find out how he feels. Uh. And I don't mean with words, with your heart. I had a really good time today. Thanks. Good luck. Out you go. Oh, sorry. Thanks. <sighs> hey, Tokyo! Wanna go do some karaoke tonight? I hear there's a really good place near Maxwell. They have cheap food. <sighs> uh, come on, I keep making suggestions and all you do is grunt. <sighs> <sighs> This really sucks. If you're not interested in a relationship, then don't lead me on. See you later. Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. I saw Yuri. Uh, 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 uh.
Tokyo? Juna? Let's go. Let's go to the sea. Hmm? Not this one. I mean the real sea. karaoke last night, but to be honest, I wasn't really into it. I can feel it. Can you feel the sea? The sea that lies within. Within me. The sea, huh? I'm sorry, Juna. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's such a crucial moment, and I, I just couldn't help it. It's probably just as well. I don't want to rush into things. I care too much about you. I'm sorry. Yeah, 
should go home. Is some monster gonna come after this place? Or am I just in the way? So, you wanna come over to my place tonight? Genetic engineering? You must have loved him. Sometimes loving someone doesn't make any difference. Modern civilization is nothing more than a glorified garbage dump. Or am I just in the way? It's begun. What's begun? That's not right, Tokyo. I guess you won't figure it out until after the world is destroyed. <laughs>